Hey guys, this is Ashley and uh, this is the quick tutorial on how to format your kids book uh, with illustrations. So um, there's obviously this is fairly involved but this is the quick version of things and the software that I recommend for formatting is called Sigil and it's S-I-G-I-L and uh, it's free to download and use so the first step would be downloading the program so we're assuming that you've done that. I think I have a link to that inside the product if you uh, if you need it. So that being said, this is what it looks like when you open it up here. And um, we're assuming that you have your story written and that you have your illustrations drawn. So what we would first do is head on over to um, your word processor, so Microsoft Word or whatever you use, <clears throat> Open Office, excuse me. And this is the writing that was delivered from my ghostwriter that I hired to write this book. So it's about a thousand words. And um, so all I'm going to do here is I'm going to select it all and I'm going to copy it. Because we're going to go to Sigil now and we're going to, it should open up and look exactly like this. So all we're going to do is just right click and paste it here in this blank document. Okay. So now we have our text. Now the next step is we need to add our images, our illustrations. So you would go to the part in the story <clears throat> where you'd like to insert it. So I'm going to say right here is where the first one needs to go. And then up here in the toolbar you'll see this picture icon. So we want to click that. And here we need to go ahead and navigate to the folder where our illustrations are, which I've already done. So here's our first one. Okay, so there's our illustration looking good and then we would simply go through the book and add them where they need to be so we'll say the second one goes about here cool and so on and so forth add our next one right about here and uh, in my story I have seven illustrations but um, doesn't matter just however many you have just go through and add them like this so we'll, we'll say that we've added all of them now so we're good there now next thing we need to do is go to tools and you'll need to add the cover so you'll need to put your book cover I don't have that file on this computer but you would add your book cover here and also go to, back to tools and go to meta data editor and add the title of your book the author or your pen name. I'm just going to put a fake pen name here for now. Then click OK. And the last step, oh also if you would like to um, break this up into sections, um, what you do is, let's say that we wanted to put the image on its own page for example. So there's advantages to both um, routes as far as that goes. So let's, we'll make one of these images on a page by itself so that you can see the difference when we preview it in the Kindle Previewer. So we just go to insert and split marker like that and it's going to add one before the image and then if you want it to be the only thing on the page we'll then add one under it as well. Insert split marker. Okay so <clears throat> you would go through and you would add these split markers wherever you want to break the story up into a different section so we'll put one there. That's good for chapters. Or, or whatever else if your story's in parts, but for a kid's book, for young kids, it's probably not going to be in chapters, so anyhow, and then at the end, once you've split it up, put the markers, you would just go edit, split at markers, and then see it's going to break the story up over here into sections based on where you inserted those. Okay, so now that we've done all that, we need to do one final thing, and that is validate, it's under tools, it's validate EPUB, we're going to click that, Okay, so you might get an error or two that usually happens. So this, if you click it, will take you right to the part where the issue is. And in this case, all I need to do is they don't like the uh, the center align uh, element here, so I'm just going to delete that. And then run it again. You have to run it until you get no more errors and it validates. So no problems found. Awesome. So now we're going to go ahead and save this to our desktop or wherever we want to. Okay, so now we're going to open up the Kindle Previewer real quick. Here we are. So we're going to go ahead and open book. And we're going to go to where we saved our file, which is on the desktop here. 
untitled.epub. Okay. So now it's going to compile the book, which will take just a second. And it's probably going to give you some warnings. Yep, like see here it says we have some warnings. But for the most part, that's fine. Just click OK. And now it's going to open the book. OK, so here's our book so far. Let's see. We'll go ahead and, and page through it real quick. OK, so that ends there because we put a split marker there. And here's our first illustration. Looks good with the text. Looking good. That's the image by itself on a page, so that's what that'll look like if you choose to do that. So there you go. That's the quick and easy version of this. Um, so good luck, and if you have any questions, uh, go ahead and post them below this video, and I will try my best to get back to you and answer them. Thanks.